The following video is part one in a three-part series on the basics of elbow arthroscopy. In this video, we'll discuss pertinent surface anatomy, portals, and key structures at risk. Because most arthroscopic procedures are performed with the patient in either the lateral decubitus or supine position, we will discuss both in this video. We'll begin with the lateral decubitus position and we'll discuss the medial, lateral, and posterior anatomy. We will then discuss the same for supine positioning. On the medial side of the elbow, key surface landmarks to know include the medial epicondyle and ulnar nerve. We'll begin with the anteromedial portal, which is located 2 cm distal and 2 cm anterior to the medial epicondyle. The mid anteromedial portal is located 1 cm proximal and 1 cm anterior to the medial epicondyle. And finally, the proximal anteromedial portal, which is also known as the proximal medial or anteromedial accessory portal, is located 2 cm proximal to the medial epicondyle and immediately anterior to the intermuscular septum. Here are the three most commonly used medial portals and their relative distance to the median and medial antebrachiocutaneous nerves. Now for the lateral elbow. Key bony landmarks include the lateral epicondyle, the radial head, and the radiocapitellar joint. The anterior lateral portal, also referred to as a standard anterior lateral portal, or now more commonly the distal anterior lateral portal, is located 3 cm distal and 1 cm anterior to the lateral epicondyle. Given its close proximity to the radial nerve, this portal is rarely used. The mid anterolateral portal is located immediately anterior to the radiocapitellar joint. Finally, the proximal anterolateral portal is located 1 to 2 cm proximal to the epicondyle and immediately anterior to the humerus. Here are the three most commonly used lateral portals. As you can see, the more proximal the portal, the greater the zone of safety and distance from the radial nerve. Now for the posterior elbow. Key landmarks include the medial and lateral epicondyles, radial head, olecranon, and ulnar nerve. The direct posterior portal has also been referred to as the posterior central, straight posterior, and trans triceps portal. It is located 3 cm proximal to the olecranon and typically pierces the tendinous portion of the triceps. The posterior lateral portal is located 1 cm proximal to the midpoint of a line that connects the olecranon and lateral epicondyle. It's typically located just lateral to the triceps tendon and can be moved proximally or distally as needed without significant risk. The direct lateral portal has also been described as the midlateral, soft spot, or direct posterior lateral portal. It's located in the center of a triangle that connects the olecranon, lateral epicondyle, and radial head. And finally, the distal ulnar portal is located 3 to 4 centimeters distal to the radiocapitellar joint along the lateral border of the ulna. Here are the four most commonly used posterior elbow portals, all of which are safely located away from the ulnar nerve. In summary, here are the most commonly used portals on the medial, posterior, and lateral sides of the elbow in the lateral decubitus position, and the supine position. Here are a few of the key points to remember for portal placement during elbow arthroscopy.